Okay, now we're going to work on another word problem, because word problems are the essential of math that you need to know. And this is a mixture problem. You'll see them usually in Algebra 2, probably. I don't think you see them in Algebra 1 yet, but you might, so it's good to just learn it if you're already in Algebra 1. Uh, I'll teach it the most uh, efficient way I can. Uh, I used to actually have problems with this, mixture problems, and the books never really explain it very well, and then I kind of just understood it, and I'll explain it the way I saw it, and the way how I figure it out. And it's the easiest way to understand it, and I've shown it to a lot of people, and every, every student I have have gotten it with my method. So, a mixture containing 16% of a drug is to be combined with another mixture containing 28% of a drug to obtain 15 milliliters of a 24% mixture. How much 16% mixture is needed? So first of all, you have to understand what the question is asking. So there's a percent of a drug that is mixing. So you're mixing, there's a 16% of a drug, and then there's a 28% of a drug, and then somehow it becomes a 24% of a drug. You know, a certain amount, you know, a kind of a, a, a certain mixture of, of a liquid or, or a, a, a drug in its contents. So the key words, you know, when you're doing word problems, you always want key words. So first of all, you're doing mixtures. Okay, so that's one of the key words. You're doing mixtures. And there's a 16% of a drug and also a 28% of a drug, which becomes a 24% of a drug. And how much of a 24% of a drug you get? You get 15 milliliters of it, okay? And it asks you how many 16% mixture is needed. So you see, I like to, when I do word problems, I like to underline all my keywords and what are the most important things for me to uh, solve this problem. It's almost like a detective case. It's like, oh, okay, I'm going to align the most important uh, uh, evidence, you know, to solve this. And those are most, my most important information right here. So the way I do mi mixture problems is, you know, is some mixture plus another mixture equals to the total mixture, okay? The, f the final mixture, okay? So the first mixture we know of is a 16% mixture, okay? And I like to write percents in terms of decimals because it's just, um, it'll be easier to uh, do the problem and it's a little shorter. So let's call this, uh, let's do it this way. So this is a 16% drug and we're gonna have the 24% drug and somehow we're gonna end up with a, I mean a 28% drug, I'm bad. A 28% drug. Okay, and it's gonna somehow become a 24% drug, okay? Some amount of this plus some amount of the, this equals to some amount, total amount of this, okay, when you mix together. So let's do the 16% first. So 16%, we know for sure, okay, of some kind of drug, which is 0.16. 28% will be plus, I just wanna put a plus here because you know something plus something is you're gonna get equals to some kind of 24% mixture. I'm kind of doing it little by little. So 0.16, this is the, um, let me do this. I'll put this as a mix, okay. And we have 0.28, and that's another mix, right? A certain kind of mix, okay. Equals to a 0.24 kind of mix. Okay, so it makes sense. If you look at it, you know, I like to read it, you know, like this. So 16% of some mix plus 28% of some mix equals the 24% of some mix, okay? See, so yeah, I'm doing it little by little. I'm doing it very slowly. So you know for sure there's 15 milliliters of this mixture, the 24%. So there's going to be 15 milliliters of this. So let's multiply it because it's 15 milliliters of this 24% mixture. So let's do 15. Multiply by 15, because there's 15 milliliters of this. It already tells you that right there. So, I'll write total uh, amount, okay? So how do you, so now you know it's 15 milliliters total. How do you express the 16% and the 28% if you know it's 15 total? Well, how about this? Let we can let the amount of uh, the mix 16% mixture be x. Okay? And I'll write it right here that this is the 
16% amount. Okay, so if that's the case, how do I express the 28%? How do I do the 28% if I know x is represented as a 16% and I know the total is 15 milliliters, how do I ex express uh, x? It's kind of like that half empty, half full kind of thinking is how do you find out you know, where the middle is? Can you just add half or maybe you subtract it from one? You know? Because that way, I mean, you think about the half, gla half, uh, half glass, kind of em half empty, half full kind of a, a problem is that, oh, is it half empty or is, or is it half full? So you can either add halfway to get to the halfway, or you have a full and subtract half, right? And you get to the half no matter what. And this is the very similar to that kind of idea, how to solve this, is that you can either add something on here, subtract it from the total. And the total, you know, is 15. So if I have this much for the 16%, if this is just really 15 minus x, right? This is a total minus what I have here. So this has to be this, the remaining. So this has to be 15 minus x, okay? And this is expressed as the, this, the 28% amount, okay? So if you look at the equation right now, it should be very clear how it works. So you have 16% of some mix, okay? And x represents how much of the 60% we have, plus the 28% mix times 15 minus x is how many of the 28% it has, okay? 28% amount equals to, if you add it all up, now you're going to get 24% as the final mix, and you know there's 15 milliliters total. So now you have your equation right now, and let's solve it right now. So let's do uh, 0.16x, okay? And let's uh, distribute this, uh, 0.28 times 15, that is, if I do it correctly in my head, is 4.2, okay? Minus, 0.28x, okay, and then 0.24 times 15, that is, it should be 3.6 if I'm not mistaken, okay. So, now you have 0.16x uh, plus 4.2 minus 0.28x equals to 3.6. Now let's combine like terms, okay, so you get 0.2x negative, because 0.16x minus 0.2x is point, uh, one negative 0.12x. And let's move up 4.2 over the other side. So I subtract 4.2 here, and you get 0.6, all right? Subtract 4.2 on both sides. So now I get point, negative point, uh, 0.12x. Negative uh, uh, 0.12x equals to negative 0.6. So now we divide by negative 0.12, okay? Okay, so we get x now equals to What's negative 0.6 over negative uh, 0.12? Well, that's just 5. Okay. So the answer right now is we have 5. And 5 refers to the 16% amount of mixture. And it's asking how much 16% mixture is needed? Well, it's 5 milliliters. And if you ask how many of the 20, if the question does ask, how many of the 28% is mixture? Just said, what, 15 milliliters? So you should subtract that, and you say the 28% uh, mix amount is equal to 15 minus 5 or 10 milliliters. But it's, all, it's only asking for the 16% mixture, so this is the answer. But the question does ask for the 28% mixture is 10 milliliters, right? But right now, is we need to do the 5 milliliters. So I hope that clears it up. If you have any questions, please ask me. Uh, there's a lot of mixture problems that's similar to this. Sometimes it's a liquid. Sometimes they ask about salinity. Um, so my favorite is always uh, the green, uh, uh, my, uh, green tea and uh, lemonade problems, how to make Arnold Palmer. So to me, that's the best mixture problems in the world. So anyways, just ask me many questions.